We'll show you how to build a 64 stations irrigation controller using Raspberry Pi. For this project, you will need the following cards and accessories. Raspberry Pi 3 or 4 with 2 GB of RAM. One piece of 10 inch DIN rail. One DIN rail power supply. One or two DIN rail mounting kits. Up to 8, 8 relay cards. Prepare the cards by setting the dip switch on each card with the I2C address offset, from 0 to 7. Next, install the first DIN rail metal bracket on your Raspberry Pi. Secure the bracket with the 19mm standoffs and nuts. Add two washers on the opposite side and mount two more standoffs. Insert the first, 8 relay card into the GPIO connector and secure it with 4 standoffs. Repeat the process with 3 more 8 relay cards. All stackable sequent microsystems cards can be installed following the same routine. Add the second in rail bracket, and 2 washers on each opposite side to compensate for the thickness of the metal bracket. Install the next 4, 8 relay cards, then the last DIN rail bracket. Secure the stack with 4 screws. Slide or snap the DIN rail into the brackets. Add the 5 volts power supply and your assembly is ready for wiring. For a better current distribution connect both outputs of the 5 volts power supply to the two cards at the end of the stack. The Raspberry Pi will be powered through the GPIO connector. Each 8 relay card has its own 5 volts connector in the upper right corner. Normal open and normal close relay contacts are routed to pluggable connectors. On the bottom row, the leftmost LED shows when the card is powered. The next 8 LEDs show when the relays are energized. Using the two RS-485 ports you can daisy-chain the cards and control them from any PLC using the Modbus protocol. To build the 64 stations irrigation controller, install Node-RED on your Raspberry Pi following the instructions. Set up Node-RED to start automatically at boot, and launch it. Find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, open a browser in another computer and type the address. HTTP, colon, slash, slash, your IP, colon, 1880. Click on the upper right corner the three bars, and select Manage Palette. Select the Install tab and type in the Search tab, dash, SM, dash. This will open a window with all the sequent microsystems nodes. Click on the Install button next to the 8 Relays board. You may choose to install other sequent nodes at this time. Close the palette window. Click again on the three bars and select Manage Palette. Select the Install tab again and search for Node-RED Dashboard. Then, click on the Install tab. Download the Node-RED 64 Stations Irrigation System from the Sequent Microsystems website. Click again on the upper three bars and select Import. Select the JSON file you downloaded on your computer. The file content will show on the screen. Press the Import button again. Next, click on the Deploy button. Click on the small down arrow in the upper right corner under the three bars and select Dashboard. Click on the square icon to launch the Irrigation Dashboard in a new tab. On the Dashboard settings you can configure the irrigation to stop when the probability of rain exceeds a preset percentage. You can also set the rain delay manually for a preset number of days. Follow the instructions on the screen to get your API key from openweathermap.org. Get your coordinates from Google Maps and paste them on the screen. Press Save Weather Settings. 
The dashboard now will show all the 8 relay cards you have installed on your Raspberry Pi. Select the first tab, for stations 1 to 8. Configure the first 8 stations of your system. Set the start time and the run time for each station, and then proceed to the next group of 8. Your irrigation controller is ready.